Hey guys, welcome back to the second video on how to build a user authentication system using Firebase Authentication. So if you have not watched the previous video, this is where we have built uh, the UI for our app and we have worked on how to register a user in. So once the user clicks on the register text view, it will take us to a registration form and we provided a lot of validations. And once the user provides his credentials, they need to press register user and then these credentials will be validated and saved to the database. So in this video we will be working only on how to log a user in so first we need to validate these two inputs and then the user has to provide his credentials and then validate these credentials with the data in the database if they are correct then log the user in and then redirect the user to user profile layout all right so we need to create some uh, private variable with the type of edit text for our email and password and we need to create one private variable with the type of buttons for our login button so private edit text edit text uh, email and then edit text uh, password and then we need a private button variable for our login we will call it sign in and now we need to provide firebase auth object and then we will call it mauth and the last but not least private uh, progress bar and then we will call it progress bar so once the user clicks on the login button and this would appear and spins until the user logs in and now we need to initialize these buttons all right, initialize the sign in button and its type is button and then find user by ID, then resources, then ID and then sign in. So sign in dot set on click listener and then this. And now we need to initialize um, edit text email and password that we have just created. Edit text email equal to edit text and then find v by ID, then resources dot ID and then dot email and then edit text password so edit text then find by id then resources then id then password and we need to initialize the progress bar as well so progress bar and then find view by id then resources then id then progress bar so we need to add one more case for our sign in object so case resources id dot sign in so once the user clicks on sign in then we need to start a new activity so once the user clicks on sign in button we need to create a method to log the user in so user login and we need to create that method in a bit so break it and we need to create that method so click on that and we will have an empty method so we need to work on user login functionality and this is where we need to get the user's credential and convert it back to string so once the user provided these two inputs we need to take the values of these two input and convert it to a string so that we can do some validation on them to do that is very simple just create an email string variable and then equal to edit text email and then we need to get the text and then we need to convert it back to string it's always good practice to trim it because a user might provide an extra space in the end. Then password, then edit text password, and then we need to get the text and then we need to convert it to string and then trim it. Now we need to do some validation. So for the validations, we need to check if the user has not provided an empty credentials. So if email dot is empty, then edit text email, and then we need to set an error. So email is required and then we need to focus on email input so edit text email dot request focus and then we need to return and once you have done that you need to uh, validate if the user has provided a valid email so patrons and then dot email address and then dot matcher and then we provide the email string and then if matches basically so we need to negate that because we need to check if the user has provided a wrong email type and then we need to inform the user to provide a valid email so edit text email dot set error and then please enter a valid email so edit text email dot request focus and then we need to return from the function and now we need to validate our password input so if password is empty and then edit text password and then set an error password is required and then edit text password and then we need to refocus to password input and then we need to return and now we need to check the minimum password length so if password dot length is less than six edit text password we need to set an error message and then edit 
text password, then request focus, and then return. So once we have reached here, that means we have passed the validations, and then we need the progress bar keep spinning until we lock the user in. So progress bar dot set visibility, and then we will set it to visible. And now we need to work on uh, mauth object to sign the user in, and then we have a method to sign the user in, sign in with email and password, and then we need to provide the email string and the password string as well. It's really important to check if the task has been completed. So on complete listener, and then new on complete listener auth result. And now we have a task object. So we need to check if task is successful. And that means if the user has been logged in and then here redirect to user profile. So if not, then we need to show the error. So make a toast notification and then main activity dot this. We need to show an error message. So failed to log in. Please check your credentials and then toast dot length long and then show the message. So once we have logged the user in successfully, we need to redirect the user to his profile layout. So now we need to create an empty activity for user profile. So just go to project and then to app and then to Java and then right click here and then go to activity and then click on empty activity. So we will call this profile activity and then click on finish. Okay, and then go back to your main activity. And now we need to redirect the user to profile activity. So start activity and then new intent. Then we are in main activity dot this and we are heading to profile activity dot class. And if you go to activity profile and then we will have an empty activity and you can drop a text view here and we can greet the user. So welcome and set some constraints. Okay, that should be fine. And then we need to test if this works perfectly. So run your app and let's try to log in the user. And then if you hit on login, I think we had an error. All right, so I think we have forgot to initialize this MF auth. Yep, so we have created a variable, but we have not initialized it in on create method. So let's do that quickly. So mauth equal to Firebase auth and then get instance. And once we get the instance of this Firebase auth, and then we can log the user in. So let's try that one more time and then click on login. Perfect. So now we have logged the user in successfully. For the next video, we will be trying to prevent the user from login if the email has not been verified. And then the user has to go to verify their email by clicking the link in their email, and then they can use their account. So guys, if you really enjoyed this, please subscribe because this will help me a lot to produce more awesome content for you guys. And see you guys in the next video.